Hi and welcome back to our channel. In this video, you will learn data analysis essentials. So let's suppose I have received this large data set. It's unformatted and messy and my manager asking me some questions about it. To answer his questions, we will go ahead over three essential data analysis skills. The first one is data cleaning. The second one is data analysis and the third one is data visualization. So let's get into it. Here's the Excel file I'll be working with today and you can download it for free in the video description. We need to make a few changes to the data set. Like suppose we want to merge the first and the last name into one column. We want to go ahead and change the formatting of the salesperson here. So it's a bit more consistent and a bunch of other things. Now, the fastest way to do that is using Power Query. For that, we are going to go ahead over to the data tab and under the data tab, you will see this get and transform data area. Just click on from table range. It should select the whole data set for us and we will just hit OK there. From there, it's going to load up the Power Query editor and this is really where we are going to make all of the data cleaning changes. You can make these changes in Excel as well, but it's a lot faster than doing it using Excel. The first step when cleaning data is to remove any duplicates. So under the order ID, if there's more than one order ID with the same number, then it's probably a duplicate. So we can just right click on it and hit remove duplicates. Whenever we make a change, it's going to be recorded under applied steps. So you can always go back or you can even remove it if you want to. Then for the dates, they are currently formatted as numbers. So let's go ahead and click on it and change that to a regular date and you will see that uh, changes automatically to the normal date. Then we said we wanted to merge the first name and the last name. So select both columns by hitting the control key. We have both selected here and then we just need to go to the right click and we will go to merge columns. From here, we want a separator, which is just going to be the space sign for us. And we want to go ahead and call this something like names and hit OK. And you will see how we have been able to merge the first name and the last name in just a few clicks. If we keep scrolling down through the data, another thing that stands out here is that the units have decimals. We can't even get a whole burger in cents, right? So let's go ahead and switch this up by going over to transform. And from here, you will find the rounding on their number column. And you will want to go ahead and change that to just rounding it up. And you can see there that we have the whole number. One final thing that we want to change is the salesperson column where they are not well formatted. So we can go ahead up to format under the transform ribbon. And first we want to go ahead and capitalize just each letter. And we also want to trim these spaces. So we can go back under format and just click on trim. Now that's looking a lot better. To go back to Excel from here, we just need to go over to the home tab and then hit close and load. And this is going to apply all the changes that we have made. So you can see here that it's created a new tab for us. And this time it has everything cleaned up. We have the queries and connections in case we ever want to go back to it. We can just right click and hit edit but we don't want it right now. So we will just close out of that. Later in the video, we will look at analysis creating some awesome visuals. But before that, let's get into the analysis section where my manager asking me some questions about the data. And he said, can you summarize the revenue column? So here he probably trying to understand what the average revenue is or the minimum or the maximum and so on. So here is the whole revenue column. We can do this with individual formula like the sum, the average and so on. But there's a better way to do that. And that's by going to the data ribbon and then you will find this data analysis option. If you don't find that, just go over it to the right click and click on customize the ribbon. Then head under add-ins. And you are going to want to select the analysis tool pack, hit on go and select it from here. I already have it for now. So I'm just going to click inside of it. Once we get this pop up, we want to head to an area called descriptive statistics, which is this one here and hit on OK. This is going to summarize all of our revenue data. So for the input range, we want to select all of our revenue numbers. So press control shift down and then for the output, let's say we just want it on the top to the right here. And then I'm just going to put summary statistics. That's going to give us all the information and hit on OK. 
and you can see that it's created this whole set of statistics you got the minimum the maximum the median the mode and a bunch of other things great now if my manager want to see the breakdown by salesperson we can do this by creating a pivot table so just go ahead and select inside of data go over to insert and just click on pivot table hit on ok there and it's going to create a pivot table on a new sheet then under pivot table fields we have to add the revenue and put it under values and uh, we are going to add the salesperson that's going to be under the rows and now we have that full breakdown but as you can see it's not really in order here so we can right click on it go to sort and sort largest to smallest cool now the next thing my manager wants to see is our next marketing campaign we are trying to see if we should target more of a male or female audience we can have a breakdown of that for this we can still use pivot tables so let's go ahead and select this first one Control c to copy and just paste it down below with Control v and now we are gonna make all the changes so this time instead of the salesperson on the rows we are gonna remove it and let's add the gender in here so we have the sum of revenue maybe we also want to see the units so let's go ahead and drag that in as well we can also get the proportion so the percentage here simply by right clicking on it and then show value as a percentage of the grand total and here we got the percentage awesome we can pretty much get any information on our data using pivot tables but there's another ai tool that excel introduced so let's take a look at it we will head over to the table here under table one and this time instead of going to pivot tables we are gonna go under the home ribbon all the way to the right where it says analyze data so let's click on that it's basically going to create a QA box and within this we can ask anything so before we did a pivot table to find the revenue by salesperson you can also ask it here so let's write revenue by salesperson hit enter there and you can see that we get the exact same breakdown so that's an awesome AI tool that you might find handy. Okay, back to the video. Now that we have cleaned up and analyzed the data, let's look at how to visualize it. And one of the easier ways to do that is using conditional formatting. So you can see over here that we have the breakdown that we did earlier with the revenue by salesperson. And suppose we want to visualize these numbers over here a bit better. And we can go ahead and select them. And then just go over to the conditional formatting under the home ribbon and then we will select the data bars let's say we go for a red one over here and you can see how easily we can tell the proportions another great visual for data analysis is a scatter plot so over here we have the clean data set and suppose we want to see if there is a relationship between age and revenue maybe older people tend to spend more money maybe younger people so let's go ahead and select both age and revenue just by clicking on the edge here and hitting the control shift down arrow then we will go back up and for the revenue we want to keep hitting that control key so we also have this selected from here we will go over under insert tab and right in the center here under charts we are going to want to select the scatter so this one right over here to drag this back up just hit control x and then scroll up to the top and let's say I put it over here to the side with control V. So basically this chart is telling us how people spend according to their age. One final visual we look at is a box plot which is great for finding outliers in the data. So over here let's suppose that we just take the revenue. Then we need to go to the insert tab again and this time under the very center here we are gonna click on that and go to the box and whisker. I realize this is a funny looking chart. So let's go over and explain what it's saying. So the line right here which is a quite small is the median. The x is going to be the average for us and then these top and bottom parts are the extremes and these two here are the quartiles. And if we had any outliers they would be showing us dots over here or down over here. Just to show you quickly let's say I put another zero in here. I am just going to put a huge number. You, you can see that it start to show as an outlier there. Let me go back so you can see this again. Alright, so that was it for today's video. For more on data analysis, check out this video over here and I'll catch you in my next video.